right, hey everyone, welcome back to Storytime with Miss Alicia. It's great to see you guys. Um, today we're going to read The Pigeon Wants a Puppy. Now we've read a different pigeon book that was by Mo Williams. Um, it was Don't Let the Pigeon Stay Up Late. So same pigeon, but now that pigeon wants a puppy. And his little word bubble says, I really do. Should pigeons have puppies? Hmm. We'll see if he gets one. Oh, hello. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. By the way, do you know what I want? What I've wanted forever? At least since last Tuesday. A puppy! Puppy, 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 puppy! Oh, don't worry. I'll take care of it. I promise I'll water it once a month. Once a month? What? Everyone knows that puppies need plenty of sunshine and water. Oh, I get it. You don't want me to be happy, do you? You don't want me to take a piggyback ride on my puppy or play tennis with it? Are you supposed to ride your puppy? Mm -mm. You just don't understand. I'm a puppy loving pigeon. Oh, puppies. I want a puppy right here, right now. Is that how we get our way? Woof. What's that? Woof, woof. Is it possible? Have my dreams come true? Woof. Ah! <laughs> it's huge. The teeth. The hair, that wet nose, the slobber, the claws. I mentioned the teeth, right? Really, I had no idea. I've changed my mind. <laughs> He's running away. I want a walrus. The end. So, did Pigeon really want a puppy? No. Sometimes we think we want things, but turns out we don't really. <laughs> All right, I hope you guys liked The Pigeon Wants a Puppy, and I'll see you next time for story time. See you later.